Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 everyday things that could kill you. So these are a ton of things I'm sure you guys have done or maybe you do them every single day. But after watching this video, you're going to be really paranoid and I'm not lying to you in the title. These things really could kill you. So please drop a like if you enjoy. Let's aim for 6,249 likes on this video because it really does help me out. So coming in at number 10, we have crossing your legs. So I bet when you guys sit down, you've probably crossed your legs for comfort before. I mean, I'm doing it right now, to be honest. Oh, Oh my god, what are you doing? Stop! Well, okay, it's not that serious, but crossing your legs can actually kill you and has killed other people before. It turns out that crossing your legs increases your blood pressure by more than 7%, and that may not sound like a lot, but that's pretty big when we're talking about blood pressure. And people always used to say this, but everyone thought it was a myth, but in 2014, Dr. Sampson found out that it was true. And it's okay if you do this now and then, but if you guys work in an office where you're sitting down all day, and you have your legs crossed the whole time, then this could be pretty bad. And it can have really bad effects on your body, like your legs being really veiny, which are called very close veins, and guys, these do not look nice. And if all of that isn't enough to make you stop crossing your legs, doing it can also cause back and neck pain. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm probably gonna stop crossing my legs. In fact, life's too short. So next up we have walking near deer. So when I say the most dangerous animals in America, you guys probably think of bears or sharks or something, but no, it turns out that deer are the most dangerous animal in America. And I'm sure you guys walk past these sometimes or maybe even see them around in your area depending on where you live. And they actually kill 140 people per year in the USA alone. And the reason why is mainly because there's so many of them. But don't worry too much guys, deer are okay to go near at most times, but don't go near them when they just gave birth because they're really protective about their kids and they attack you with their they think you're going to attack their kids. And I think they give birth near Easter, so don't go near them at Easter. Well, at least I think it's Easter. Don't blame me if you get killed by a deer. Wow, I am so professional. But yeah, guys, stay away from deer. And I actually live kind of near a big deer park, so I'm going to watch out if I ever go there. Just kidding, guys. I don't go outside. So coming up next, we have umbrellas. Now, you guys are going to think I'm a clown for saying umbrellas are deadly, but I literally know somebody who's seen an umbrella fly into someone's stomach because of the wind at a beach once. But yeah, I checked out the statistics, and it turns out there's over 100,000 umbrellas injuries every year. And I don't mean like little things, I mean like really bad ones that make people go to the hospital. And around 17,000 people actually end up dying from umbrellas every year. And most of these happen how I described earlier with wind at the beach, but it can also be from falling umbrellas in houses and other things. And one really weird one, which I'm not sure counts, is one woman died choking on a cocktail umbrella. So yeah, I don't know if that counts, but still, a ton of people die from umbrellas, and the percentage of umbrella deaths is going up every single year. So next time you want to go to the beach, just be sure to bring a bulletproof vest along. So coming up next we have Jello. So yeah guys, this is a really innocent kids food and it's called jelly in some countries and Jello in America and basically the way most people die from Jello is by choking on it. Uh, people choke all the time on food, what makes Jello different? Well, the reason more people die from Jello instead of other foods is because they're usually quite big and because they're soft, some people don't chew it and they just swallow a big whole clump and then it gets stuck in their throat and the main reason why people die from them is because the Heimlich maneuver doesn't work with Jello because it gets lodged in the throat and some countries like Japan and New Zealand have already banned these because of this and in America there's around six jello deaths every year and even more in Japan there was around 80 per year there which is why they banned them but yeah guys stay away from jellos if you don't want to chew your food but if you're like a regular person who chews their food then you should be fine so coming up next we have drinking water so everyone says drink water because it's healthy in fact people are always telling me to drink more water so if drinking more water can kill you I must be really healthy right huh I wish but people do die from drinking water too much of it in fact and around 16 people per year die from drinking too much water in the USA alone. I mean, I know that doesn't sound like much, but I mean, it is pretty hard to die from drinking water. And most people who die from drinking water actually internally drown to death. Because if you have too much, then your organs get coated in water and then you don't get any air. And the most common reason people drink too much is if they're doing a marathon. So next time you guys are thinking of doing a marathon for a charity or good cause, don't do that, you're gonna kill yourself. Now, but seriously guys, as long as you don't drink more than four liters of water per day, then you should be okay. Or just be like me and live off Red Bull and coffee. But yeah guys, coming up next we have Christmas trees. So it's the festive season pretty soon and I bet you guys can't wait to put up your Christmas trees. Well, sorry guys, it's gonna kill you. Okay, probably not, but around 41 people every year die from them and over 1,000 people are injured by them too. And one of the main reasons for this is because house fires are often caused by Christmas trees. In fact, they cause over 140 house fires every year. So yeah, people die from them by either burning to death in a fire, the tree falling on them and killing them, or swallowing a leaf from a tree 
tree and choking to death. Okay, who's out here eating their Christmas trees? And I'm sorry for bumming you guys out about Christmas, but yeah, guys, watch out for your Christmas trees this holiday season because they're out to get you. Okay, but coming up next, we have vending machines. So you guys probably have done before or maybe regularly get a drink or a snack from a vending machine. Well, I hope you don't buy water because that's gonna kill you. But something even more deadly than the water in the vending machine is the huge metal box itself. And around 37 people die every year just trying to get a snack from a vending machine. And this is usually people who are actually shaking them to get out a stuck item. Or they're trying to steal stuff by shaking them up. Damn, that's kind of like the vending machine having its payback. But yeah, another way this can happen is just by them being on a loose or unstable surface. So who knows, maybe it's best to go into stalls instead of vending machines. And in 2014, a really young kid who was around 12 years old legitimately bought some coke from a vending machine. And then he put his hand in because it got stuck and he actually ended up having the machine fall on his hand and break his arm. So guys, definitely be careful. In fact, I just checked and a few weeks ago, this guy here was killed by a vending machine when he broke into it. Wow, it really does look like they can fight back. Kids, don't fuck with vending machines. And apparently the most likely thing for you to get injured getting, but I don't think that's some kind of conspiracy or anything. I think it's just because there's so much coke in the world. And no guys, I'm not being bribed by Pepsi to say this. Hey, hi, yeah, when are you giving me that money? Oh, tomorrow? Cool, cool, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, it's still recording. Charlie, remember, edit this out, edit this out, do not let people see this. So coming up next, we have using hot water bottles. So a lot of you guys probably use hot water bottles for a ton of things, like muscle pains or heating your beds. And maybe more older people will find this one crazy because these used to be used the whole time. Well, it turns out that these can be really dangerous. I mean, a big bag of boiling hot water does sound kind of dangerous, I guess. And this mainly happens when people don't screw their lids on well enough. And then the boiling hot water leaks out and can give you third degree burns. And actually kill some people because of how bad the burns can be. And sometimes the liquid is so hot that it can cause some badly made ones to melt. And then the rubber either melts into your skin, or you get burned by the water that comes out. Or even better, both! Nah, I'm just kidding guys, that sounds so painful. But yeah, next time you want to warm a bed or just relax a muscle, use a hot water bottle, but make sure the lid is screwed on. Oh, and don't buy a cheap one from your local bargain bin, or it might melt. So coming up next, we have microwave popcorn. No guys, I'm not talking about the popcorn in Scream. This isn't all popcorn, don't worry, this is only microwavable popcorn. And it's to do with the chemical which is in the popcorn. But yeah, it's fine to eat normal popcorn that's been popped from curl but microwave popcorn requires a special chemical to keep it fresh before it's heated up. And it's a chemical called diacetyl, which is basically like butter, but has a poisonous odor that can actually be dangerous to inhale over long periods of time. So it's not exactly poisonous to eat, but inhaling this too much can be fatal. And I don't know how, but some people actually have died from this. But I don't think that most people eat that much microwave popcorn. But if you do eat it like every day, then just be sure you don't inhale too much because it is technically poisonous. And it can be even worse if you're allergic to diacetyl and don't even know it. And no no guys, I'm not being paid by the movie theatres to say this. So coming up last, we have eating lunch at your desk. So I know a ton of you guys work in an office, or maybe work from home and eat lunch or other meals at your desk. And to be honest, I do this too, but maybe I should stop. Because it can be really bad to do this, because there's so much bacteria on desks anyway, but the average desk that you eat at has 400 times more bacteria than your toilet. That's right guys, it will be cleaner to literally eat out of your toilet. And this bacteria can be passed on from food a lot, and also because most desks have a fan, there's usually more dust on desks, which can also lead to the crazy amounts of bacteria there, and sometimes even build up in your insides if you eat food which had bacteria on it. And some offices take this so seriously they now have standing desks so that less people eat at their desk. I don't know, maybe that's going a bit too far, but if it's healthier for you, then why not? But I just checked and these things literally cost $1,400 just for a standing desk. So yeah guys, unless your company is really rich and has $1,400 for every single employee, sorry, but you're gonna die. But don't worry guys, you can just use the toilet in your office. Perfect. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for the craziest thing that could kill you. For me, I think it's crossing your legs just because I'm doing it right now. And also guys, before the outro of this video, I just want to say thank you for this amazing fan art you guys have been sending me recently. You've been doing some awesome drawings, some cool graphic designs on the computer and it's absolutely awesome. So definitely send me some of that stuff if you guys want to make some and I will feature it in a video just like I'm doing right now. And also some of these people have put usernames on their art. So definitely go and follow their usernames. So yeah, guys, definitely send me some awesome fan art. And yeah, guys, who knows? I might do a voting thing where you can vote for the best piece of art of that week. And then I might do like a giveaway, like a prize or whatever to the winner. And a ton of you guys have been saying how you can't draw and stuff. That's fine, guys. Me either, but it's still awesome to see it. And I will guarantee it will go in a video no matter how good or bad you think it is. Because to me, it's all amazing. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.